Hello, hello, hello. My name's Sam and you're watching So Let's Vark with Sam and today I am sharing my So Hayley Jane subscription box unboxing. So if you like that kind of thing, uh, then I tend to do unboxings um, fairly regularly and I also do a weekly vault vlog all about my sewing journey. So if you like what you hear, then please don't forget to give me a like and subscribe if you don't already because it really helps me out. So, excuse me, um, I've just realised that my sofa bed in my spare room is quite squeaky, so apologies for any strange squeaky noises. Um, we're in my spare room rather than in my sewing room today because I'm in the middle of a really big project. I am going to the dressmaker's ball on Saturday and I'm currently making my outfit and a handbag and some shoes. <laughs> well, not the whole shoe. So an accessory for a shoe. Um, I'm trying to keep things, you know, a little bit hush-hush, but you'll hear all about it soon enough. Um, so yeah, my sewing room looks um, quite exciting at the moment, but not very good for filming in because it's just too busy and too messy. So I thought I'd come into the spare room. So my unboxing video is a little bit later than normal and probably a little bit later than some of the others you've seen. You've probably seen quite a few already um, because the boxes went out a little while ago but I only got mine today. Yesterday. Today. <laughs> today. Um, because it had actually been delivered um, but it had been delivered to a neighbour and no card was left. So um, because no card was left, I didn't know it had been delivered, so I didn't ask a neighbour and my neighbour didn't kind of communicate that to me until today. So, so yeah, so my box has been on a bit of a journey and as a consequence, because it's on a bit of a journey, um, it was in a little bit of a state of array when it arrived. <laughs> so um, nothing to do with Sir Hayley Jane, just just the way things, you know, sometimes boxes are late, sometimes, you know, these things happen. Um, but I have opened it to check that everything was okay. And also I just opened it, you know, just, just to make sure that everything. So it's not an unboxing as in a secret unboxing. I have already seen what's inside it, but I am very happy to go through it all with you. And I have got some plans on what I'm gonna do with it. So there you go, that's a good surprise. So the book is, it, the box is box issue 58 and the box is called Grow and it's a September box and I have to say when Hayley put her little sneak peek on Instagram of what the September box picture, I got very excited because those colours to me just say autumn loveliness and that's very me. So, oh, well, actually, just while I'm talking about that, what I'm wearing, excuse me, I'm just going to stand up a bit so you can see. I'm wearing my Stay Home at S and S Sew Billy Jumper. And this, um, I got this vinyl sticker, iron on vinyl, don't know what you call it, um, from one of the So Hayley Jane boxes. So I thought I'd put that on today because it's kind of a bit chilly here in Leamington Spa. It's definitely jumper weather. So yeah, so I'm wearing that to keep me warm and also to show you that I have actually used my little sticker. That was from the um, the special Chili and the Buttons box. So yeah, so yeah, you get your little magazine. Um, a new thing is, uh, well, it's been in for a few months now. Um, you get a little code, a QR code. So if you are a subscriber to Stash Hub, then you're, you can just kind of, I don't really know very much about Stash Hub. I do keep looking at it, but I'm not sure whether it's actually for me. I might do a bit of research and see if it is, um, but that's very nice. And then a lovely little picture of Hayley in her Erin Tungaries that she made. And I made a pair, might put a picture up actually, of my pair from last month's box. I really, do you know what? I loved last, I know we're talking about this month's box, but I just want to tell you how much I loved last month's box fabric. I loved it so much that I went straight onto First Fabrics and bought it in three different colourways. 
the fabric was so lovely in fact if they've got any more left at first fabrics i'll um pop a link down below um because when the fabric arrived it went straight on the line straight away it washed lovely it's it's just fantastic um really really nice it's got almost i think it's vintage cotton it was described as but it feels a, a bit linen-y to me um really really lovely so yeah so i'm looking forward to making some more bits and pieces with that so yeah and then Haley just does a quick hello how are you doing and then you get an interview and this time is an interview with the lady from seasons of east have to say i really do i do i've I, I keep putting off i have got the seasons of east um summer in new york dress pattern i got ages and ages and ages ago before everyone was talking about it actually <laughs> um from uh my friend liz at flying bobbins because she sent it out as one of our monthly and she's got a sew along for it and everything um, and I don't know what it is, why I haven't made it, because I keep seeing fabric that I'd like to make it with and I, I keep getting it out of the packet and stroking the packet because it's so beautiful, <laughs> but never actually getting around to making it. So I don't know what that is. I don't know what's happening there, but it's definitely on the cards for me to make. And then here we've got all about viscose, which might give you a clue might, of what's in the what's in the box. And then a lovely maker of the month and that's the lovely Debs who I know already from because we have links with Always Knitting and Sewing. Doesn't she look fantastic? She made that for a wedding. She looks absolutely great. And then a little bow bag to match. Gorgeous. And then three boxes, three makes. So I'll show you the luxury box because I've got the classic box. So the luxury box is the lovely Hayley and she's made it and I have to say um i'm not i'm not generally jealous of people that have the luxury boxes i have on occasions seen the luxury box fabric and you know given Haley a quick email uh saying yes i'll have some of that or have you got any of that um i don't often get jealous of it however i am going to email Haley and see if any of this one is left because that has got my name all over it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous, really beautiful. And then the lovely Gemma has made something. I'm not gonna show you because it's in the fabric. And the lovely Laura has made something. Um, and then the lovely Tamlin has made some uh, little project, some fabric bowl covers, which are really handy. I've made loads of these in my time. They are really handy. Um, out of the very last fat quarters because next month we're not getting fat quarters anymore we're getting a undecided length of fabric i think the idea i don't think it's undecided i think it just check it's a changeable feast so that's very exciting i'm really looking forward to seeing october's box because it'll just be really nice to see how it's how it's going to move on so that's very exciting and uh, and then yeah then we've got the makers gallery i love i love looking at this because you get just such good inspiration from everyone and i love um seeing what other people have made out of this fabric because obviously i've got some more in different colorways so um yeah i think that's lovely and actually seeing this lovely lady here um what is her i'm not quite sure she's just got her instagram tag there but in these petra pants from classic call now I hear people talk about the Petra pants a lot and um, I, it's a pattern that I've not got but I definitely I definitely like the idea of them so that might be something I look at however I've not had very much success with closet core patterns in the past they don't always fit my dimensions very well but it definitely I'll have a I'll definitely have a little think about those but she looks absolutely lovely in hers so that's definitely given me food for thought and then the lovely fabric here from that one was from the Tilly box and then this one here absolutely gorgeous as I said I love looking at the um, makers gallery because you just get so much inspiration and then the lovely customer profile which is always interesting to read about how people have started their journeys and uh, into sewing. So that's the lovely Billy. 
She looks great. And then we've got the pattern picks from the fold line. And that is something I wanted to tell you about. So if you do an unboxing, um, like I did a couple of months ago and pop it on Instagram, then you get put into a competition to win a 15 pounds fold line voucher and I won it. So I actually have the pattern that I bought here today with my 15 pounds and I bought Fiber Mood Viva um, and I'll put some pictures of the Viva dress up um, on here because it's one of the contenders for what I might make out of the fabrics in the box. I know I'm being a tease, aren't I? Terrible, terrible tease. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so that's the, <laughs> that's the fold line. And then a spotlight on this one. Spotlight on Sister Manteca. Oh, that's lovely, super. I'm trying to show you and read at the same time and I'm used to be I used to be really good at reading upside down being a teacher for all those years but I've obviously lost that ability <laughs> I'm definitely finding it harder and then what Hayley has been getting up to oh I watched the uh, Little Mermaid last night my daughter came over my daughter is nearly 30 <laughs> but she came over for her Sunday dinner yesterday and uh, and yeah and we the boys went off and did things and we sat in the lounge and had a glass of wine and watched The Little Mermaid, which was quite delightful. And then, yep, yeah, other bits and pieces. And then you get the what's in the box. So, shall I show you what's in the box? I've been blabbering on for minutes and minutes and you've not even seen what's in the box yet. So, the first thing, I did wonder when the box came because it was slightly battered, but it did smell delicious. And this is the reason why because I think you say that word beautifully, beautifully candles, absolutely gorgeous. Black plum and rhubarb. So the little wax melts. So you put them in your wax burner and I've got, I've got a couple of uh, Scentsy ones in my sewing room. So, and around about the house. So they're gonna smell absolutely delicious. And then a Gutman thread in a purple colour and then a little sweet treat in fact two sweet treats lollies so I'm not really one for lollies um I kind of find them they're not not great for your teeth are they because you have all of that sugar next to your teeth for all of that long long amount of time so I might pass these along you never know I might be in the mood for a lolly at some point but they're very cute you often get a little haberdashery treat and this month it is a pin wheel, a wheel of pins and they are great aren't they? I find um, I find these lot, these are like super long and slightly thicker pins than my other dressmaking pins um, but I do, for, I do a lot of bag making and I do find them really useful particularly if you're using quite thick upholstery fabrics for bag making um, they're just the handy pins to have. Fat quarters. Now I have to say, you know, like you try not to have favourites, but then you just see something and you just think you're my favourite. <laughs> and out of this one, it's definitely out of these, it's definitely this one. And not only is it the colours and the pattern of it, but it's the feel. It just feels so beautiful. Um, so yeah, and I think I've already decided what I'm going to make with that because um, I, I do need some new handkerchiefs. I'm running a bit short and because it feels so nice, I think it's going to make an absolutely lovely handkerchief. So I might make a couple of handkerchiefs out of that. So I've got some, some you know, some new ones, which is a very nice, always nice to have a, a new hanky, isn't it? So that's that one. And then we've got the butterflies and little birds and little birds in bird cages in the purple colorway very beautiful and then i've left this to last 
and I've left it to last for a reason because I absolutely love it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And this is, this 2.5 meters of this absolutely gorgeous fabrics. It says fabrics for your creativity. And it is a poplin, a viscose poplin. It feels, it's quite nice to the touch. It doesn't feel too slippery like a viscose, but it's got a nice drape to it. And as I said, I think one of the possibilities for this, I think is gonna be the Viva. So I'll pop it up again. Um, what do you think? I think it will make a really nice, because I'm thinking an autumn dress, it's nice and long. I can wear tights underneath. It looks to me like it's quite loose fitting, so I could probably put something underneath on the top or I could put a cardigan over the top. Um, yeah, pair of boots. It kind of feels quite boho-y. I don't know whether that's me or not, but I, yeah, I definitely could go with that. Um, so yeah, so that's one of the possibilities. Um, and the other poss possibility, funnily enough, is to just get on and do the Seasons of East um, Summer in New York dress, because I think that that would look really nice in in that, um, which would also make a nice kind of transitional autumn, summer to autumn dress. Um, and I do love, I'm never 100% sure with purple whether it suits me, but I love the colours, so I'm definitely, I'm definitely very happy with it. And again, I saw all of the colourways. I would have been happy with any of the colourways this month because they were all absolutely stunning. So yeah, so that is the story of my So Hayley <laughs> chain box this month. Hope I haven't bored you all silly. And I hope you all have a really nice week. So if you have any suggestions for what I might do with what's in my box, um then let me know in the comments. It's always lovely. I always, I always love kind of sewing inspiration. It makes me happy. So you take care. Don't forget to sparkle and I'll see you really soon. Bye for now.